David, starting off with Easty, have we got an update on, on his situation? <coughs> yeah, he had a, an operation yesterday on his knee. Um, not particularly good news. We think he's out for a fairly extended period of time um, with his patella tendon. So, um, yeah, look, I went to see him at the hospital and he's in as good a spirits as he can can be at this stage. But look, he'll, 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 he'll come back, obviously. He'll be... He'll be We've, uh, we've exchanged messages this morning. Um, he'll be at home for a couple of weeks, and then we'll we'll get him back in, and we'll start his rehab. So, um, bit of a freak accident, but then the design of the goals is horrific. You know, you can't have people literally that happening to them because of the design of the goals, um, and, and that is what it is, unequivocal. Um, but that just sort of sums up our look at the minute with, with regards to injuries. So, um, yeah, look, we'll give Easty all the support. I've, I've already floated some things by him and he's, he's keen to keen to do that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll have a really good chat with him in a couple of weeks' time after he's uh, rested up and he's, he can, uh, he can you know, bend his actual, actual leg. So, yeah, yeah. You mentioned the look with injuries. How is the squad at the moment? But I suppose it's the worst time coming into a Tuesday night and then another Saturday. And yeah, I think it's coming thick and fast. Yeah, I think we've got a square. We haven't got a full squad, have we? I think that's. I think that's. <laughs> I think that's uh, what can be said on that. But look, I was, I was, I was uh, in the hotel Saturday morning listening to Pep Guardiola saying that he's got loads of injuries, so at least we're in good company. Um, you won't hear me complain. It's, there's very little point. When one door closes, another one opens for someone else. You saw that on Saturday. We could not have given a, a better example of that happening than a 17-year-old lad going on the pitch away from home in front of you know, a full hostile crowd behind him and you know, walking onto the pitch and being absolutely outstanding. You know, and, and that's what football's about, that's what life's about. So as much as I can sit here and, you know, complain and feel sorry for ourselves, you know, the the lads showed unbelievable character. And obviously including Seb. When I say in the face of adversity, I am really mindful of the fact that I said to on, I said to you on Saturday, you know, when people use the word injury crisis, I, I find it a little bit galling. There's far worse things happening in this world than than our injury problems. So, yeah, would it be easier for us? Of course, if we had more people fit. But we haven't. So let's just crack on. Let's just crack on. We've got to be mindful of that. We've got to get players back. But let's just crack on. Come on, we're one of the league leaders. Let's let's just crack on. Yeah, and, and 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 come on, who's going to step up to the plate? The lads did that second half. After, you know, we had we, took, we had a few few things to say to them at half time. And I thought they responded brilliantly because I thought we absolutely dominated the game in the second half. You know, at two two, Sean said to me, "said What do you think? You, you, you know, we just put Jason on. No, no, we, we're not, we're not coming in for a point. Come on, let's go." And that's how it turned out because a win and a loss is better than two draws. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about injuries. They're a factor. They don't help, but they're part of life. So let's just crack on. And like you say, with that second half performance in particular, it's a bit of that backs against the wall and you go out and, again, you learn a lot about your side, that they're up for the fight sort of thing. Not that that was in question, but they're prepared to do it and it, and it gives you such a confidence boost going into t t Tuesday, I'm sure. Yeah, look, I, the, the, the five subs that went on the pitch were all magnificent. You know, it's easy to be sit there and sulk or blame something else or look at everything else. You, 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 there's every chance you're going to get on the pitch. You know, we haven't got any more fit players in that sense. There's a great chance you're going to be involved and you're going to be on the pitch. You know, the one person who might not, that might not have happened would be Seb. And he ends up on the pitch. And he did brilliant, like I said. So, but so did Callum and Lewis and all the subs. All the subs. Jason was, was fantastic, you know. So we've, we've got to make sure that everyone understands that and they do. Because, you know, that's, that's what happens. Um, you know, watching the game back yesterday, and the final goal goal goes in, and the whole bench is up. 
you know, and, and that's because we're all together and we're all doing all them things that you just mentioned, the, the, the spirit, the culture that we've created. I was speaking to one of the players last week about, um, you know, how the lads are feeling and he couldn't, couldn't speak highly enough of how much the lads are together. Um, and I think that shows. I do think that shows. So, yeah, we, we've got a, a good group. They're working extremely hard. And doesn't matter whether you, whatever, I don't know. Is, is Rosie our oldest player at 30? I don't know. Possibly, Maybe, yeah. which is not old. But whether you're 30 or 17, come on, you're going to get a chance. Go on, be ready. And let's go. And that's that was the the sort of the cry last week, and it was it's the same sort of battle cry today. And there's obviously a bit more nuance to it than that than just go out and turn up. But um, that's the situation we find ourselves in, and we've got another long trip. But like I say, it's it's a great opportunity. It's an absolute fantastic opportunity to to, to go and win away again. And you'll be very much relying on those characteristics against Tuesday, against Gillingham, a strong Gillingham side who are top of the league. Yeah, well, they've, they've made a good start. Um, hard to break down, score some goals. And that's a good recipe to have, um, especially at, at the Breezefield. So, look, we know that when we've been away before, we haven't particularly done ourselves justice, but we knew that Chesterfield reserved a lot more. You know, on Saturday, the, the game after, the, the away game after Chesterfield, that we won. So we're building that that performance level and, and, and results off the back of it, away from home. Because that's important, because our form here at BP is is OK. And now we've got to make sure our away form improves. And one swallow doesn't make a summer. Uh, uh, Certainly not in Carlisle because there's not much of a summer up there, is there? Um, <laughs> chucking it down for a while. Um, but look, we've got to make sure we go to, to Gillingham and get, do ourselves justice. And, and if we perform, we'll give anyone a, a game in, the, in this league, that's for sure.